Hi, Mark T, the handyman here. Recently, I received a comment requesting that I make a video on how to check the gas pressure on a Hayward coal heater. So that's what we're going to do today. So what we are looking at now is the piping that I put in when I installed the coal heater. We start off with inch and a quarter at the gas valve. We reduce that to one inch and then it runs about 30 feet until we reduce it from one inch to three quarter inch to fit the new gas valve. The first thing we are going to do is we are going to shut the gas valve off at the pool heater. Next thing we are going to do is we are going to attach the manometer to the inlet of the gas valve. Here is a picture of the gas valve. As you can see, it has an inlet port and an outlet port. We will be attaching the manometer to the inlet port to see the gas pressure as we are getting it from the gas meter. And then we will be watching to see what happens to the gas pressure once the gas valve opens and ignites the flame to the burners. First, we will need to remove the plug that is on the inlet of the gas valve. Now, I'm going to install this fitting that will allow me to hook up my manometer. Here is the manometer. I'm going to attach it to the inlet side of the gas valve and then we're going to run the unit through its ignition cycle and see what our gas pressure does. Alright, let's open the gas. As you can see, the gas pressure dropped from 7 inches of water column to right around 5 inches of water column when the burner came on. That's a gas pressure drop that would be considered normal. The drop from 7 inches to 5 inches verifies that the gas valve did open. If you listen closely, you can hear that the burner is on. If we put the manometer on the outlet of the gas valve, you would see there would be a small movement in the needle on the manometer, but there would be no increase on the manometer pressure. It would pretty much be zero. I have inserted a clearer picture of both the manometer pressures at 7 inches of water column and 5 inches of water column to give you a better view of the gauge itself. The red gauge is the inches of water column. Once again, when the burner goes off, the pressure goes right back to 7 inches of water column. I think we have verified in this particular case that these are normal gas pressures with the unit off and then on again. Okay, so let's take the manometer off and put the plug back in the gas valve and wrap this video up. First we'll need to shut off the gas to the unit and then remove the manometer fitting. And then we'll put the gas valve plug back in. Then of course we'll turn the gas valve on the unit back on. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up or a like. If you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.